Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be covering the lens filter effects in Face Filter 3. I'm going to be showing you how you can make adjustments to the tone and color of your image, as well as adding specific lens filters such as vignette as well. So let's go directly into it. I'm going to go over to the effects section here on the right, since we don't want to apply any uh, makeup to our football field here. And in the effects section here, you can see that there are two areas in the modify panel. There's the lens filter effects and the depth of field effects. In this tutorial, we're going to be concentrating on the lens filter effects. And I'm going to try and adjust the tone, the color tone of this image, since it consists of fairly cool colors such as gray, uh, blue, and green here, you can see. So I'm going to go into the tone folder here. And in the tone folder, you'll see that there's a template called warm. I'm going to double click that and we'll see the results on the right here. In the after image, you can see that now the tone is uh, sort of warmed up a little bit, especially in the gray area of the stands. We can further adjust that by going to the color balance here on the right. We can increase the amount of red in the image. And you can see the uh, effect that that has on the uh, image on the, on the after image there. And even increase the amount of yellow as well. You can make it seem like a bit more of a, a, a warm environment um, by adjusting the tone. You can also adjust the brightness and contrast of your image as well. If I select that box there, the brightness and contrast box, once I do that, um, I can adjust the uh, contrast, um, maybe bring the contrast up a little bit. And you can see that you can create a sort of a Polaroid look um, by, by adjusting the contrast, um, brightness, we can do that as well, and bring the brightness down. You can, you can see now that the, uh, the image looks completely different as it did before, than from what it did before. Um, so we can do all those effects as well. And last but not least, we can also also adjust uh, hue and saturation here as well. So if I select hue and saturation, I can change the uh, the hue and give us give ourselves a red football field. Uh, we probably don't want to adjust that too much. Um, and saturation, we can um, we can warm it up, warm up the environment even further by increasing the saturation. Let's see if I maybe not something not not that strong, but. Uh, you can go ahead and adjust that on your on your own time. Basically, those are the uh, lens filter uh, effects that you can apply uh, for tone. You can also make your image cooler um, and more vivid. If we apply vivid landscape, for example, you can see the difference it makes. It kind of brightens things up uh, compared to the image on the on the left. All right, so that's uh, I'm going to load in another image here. Uh, I'm going to open a project, and we don't want to save this for now. I'm going to open up this project here uh, with this uh, nice couple walking down the beach here. And open that up. And once that once that image loads in, I'll press OK. Once that image loads up, I'm going to show you a number of other different uh, templates, uh, including our Lomo effects. So again, we'll go over to the effects section here, and we'll go down to the uh, parent folder here of lens filter, and we'll select the uh, Lomo effects. And now Lomo effects, when I apply them, you'll see what'll happen here. I'll apply something such as uh, Lomo Happy Hour, for example. You can see it applies a nice vignette around the outside. Adjust the tone of the of the image slightly, um, and yeah, that's basically uh, what you can do. You can adju you can adjust these settings further um, with the vignette. You can see the vignette is applied now. I can adjust the size of the vignette, make it smaller or larger. Uh, the level, I can make it lighter or darker. It, it really all depends, and the width, I can make it uh, thinner or, or wider. It all depends on the effect you're going for. Um, there's a number of other different uh, cool, cool-looking Lomo templates as well, such as Lomo Vintage. Uh, Lomo Dawn might be more suitable for this image here. You can see the effect that it has on the right, and uh, Lomo Summer as well. So those are basically the number of different Lomo effects that you can apply to your uh, to your image. All right, so back down here, um, we'll go into the black and white. I'll show you a number of those as well. If you're one of those more artistic types, you can use the uh, the black and white filters, fade out, uh, black and white dark. We probably don't want to use this one since you can't really see the subjects of the image. Those are the black and white filters as well. And if you simply want to apply, um, you can go back to lens filter. If you want to erase all those, all the all the effects that you've applied to your image so far, you can just go back to the parents lens filter parent lens filter folder here, and uh, double click the no effect template, and that'll bring everything back to normal. And if you want to apply a vignette separately by itself, you can also do that as well. Um, just to, these are different vignette templates: a flat vignette a high vignette, you can see the difference. And of course, like I mentioned before, you can adjust the uh, the size and the ratio and, uh, and the level and everything like that as well. All right, so that's about it for uh, lens filter effects. Uh, check out our other tutorial on depth of, uh, depth of field effects for uh, more info on how you can create some cool adjustments to your image.